Hey there, this is part three of the training series on what can I do with my new YouTube channels for 2.0 channels. If you're not sure what this is, go ahead and click some of these links right there. You can go back to part one or part two. Enjoy. This is the advanced options section. Here we are inside our channel. We're going to do some edits to the channel right here in our themes and colors area. So these are the default themes that you got right along the top. You may have added some. You can always add more. By clicking right here to it says new theme. There is, by the way, in this icon here, a left side and a right side. The left side is represented by what's called the general changes. All these changes will affect the left side of your icon and the color palettes area will affect what's on the right side. So let's take a quick look. We're gonna look in this video under general. We'll have another video talking about color palettes and we're gonna define what each and one of these parts means. Not so much what you can do with them. We're gonna let you figure that one out on your own or you can wait until we get our design tips video published. But for now, we're gonna talk about what these elements mean. So right now, you can change your font and that will change the way it looks throughout your whole channel. Right there, it just changed it. We'll bring it back to Arial. And it is relatively quick in refreshing. You can see the changes right away, which is kind of cool about the new channels. Background color, that's this color on the left side. Note, please, here under the color palettes on the right side, there's another one called background color. That is not the one we're talking about right now. We're talking about this one over here on the left, the general side. Click on these colors, and you'll see drop downs available for all of them. You're not limited to only these. You can actually type in any number value that you happen to know from your hexadecimal color definitions. And you can find things like that inside Photoshop or you can look online for other hex color definition models. So for now, just to make it easy, let's go ahead and click on this and let's change our background color to nice bright color like red. And note here on the bottom left what happens there it is, the outside edge is going to change. So the background color is the overall color that shows if you do not have a background image uploaded. It kind of leaks through in between the top portion and the bottom portion right there. But normally you'll see it only on the left and the right sides and potentially on the very, very bottom of your channel. So that is what is called a background color. Wrapper color, what is a wrapper color? Well. That's an interesting question. It's a brand new concept that YouTube channels 2.0 has brought to our attention. A wrapper acts like a solid color behind your modules. Let's change that to a bright color contrast. Let's use yellow. You'll note here in your icon it changes right away and look down here. The background is red. The wrapper color is yellow and it's showing right behind where the comments and info area is. It shows sort of as an outline around these module pieces. So it acts like a color background behind your module areas, not around the whole channel, but around this middle stuff. And up here on the top, it's also the main color that's gonna be in this upper left area, which is called the channel ID. The channel ID area is always going to be your wrapper color and your wrapper can have a level of transparency. Let's show it quick here, we'll look at it more later. If I set this to 60%, then the outline area gets lighter or less intense, and this area does not. So this is always gonna be 100% of the color of your wrapper. Something else here, when you have a video selected, you will note here the highlighted area is going to be the color of what's called your wrapper, your wrapper color. Another thing that the wrapper color does is it shows up in lines, the lines between segments of what you have on the right side here. So right now I'm just showing uploads. If I show all, then you'll see there's a little line here that shows up between my uploads and my playlists. So the wrapper color is going to show up there as well. It's not just the background behind your modules. Okay, okay, okay. I think we need a break here. This is going to have to be the end of this particular video. The left side is going to have to continue with a new video where we'll continue with the wrapper text colors, wrapper transparency, and background image basics. Uh, I can only handle so much for one particular video. So join me for the next one. There's going to be part four coming right up.